Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this lesson, we will be taking a look at English vocabulary relating to different types of bags. So get ready for lots of useful and interesting English. Don't forget, as usual, I am posting the complete word list in the description below. If you have ever wanted to support my homegrown channel, Learning the English Pro, here is your opportunity. YouTube have added the super thanks button to my profile, so if you enjoy my videos and want to send some love my way, you can send me a tip of your choice. All support is greatly appreciated. Let's get started with our lesson, and our first bag is very common. The paper bag. Repeat after me. Paper bag. This type of bag you can see on screen can also be referred to as a grocery bag. Grocery bag. It might even be referred to as a brown paper bag to be a little bit more specific. A similar type of paper bag with handles that we get when we're shopping is simply called a shopping bag. Repeat after me shopping bag. A bag which is very like a shopping bag is a gift bag. This can be really any size, big or small, depending on the gift itself. Gift bag. A bag which is very common throughout the world is a plastic bag, which has many uses. Plastic bag. Our next type of bag has a few different names depending where you live. In American English, it can be referred to as a trash bag or a garbage bag. So we have trash bag and garbage bag. They both mean the same thing. And when it comes to British English, it has a few names as well, like bin bag, bin liner, or simply a black bag. Commonly found in kitchens around the world are these little plastic bags, and they again have many names depending where you live and what you use them for. We can call them a food bag, a Ziploc bag, which is a brand, a resealable bag, or if you're going to freeze some food in them, they could be called a freezer bag. Our next type of bag is called a tote bag. Tote bag. This type of bag is made from fabric and can be used to store your shopping or your personal items. Another name we can call this bag is a cloth bag. Cloth bag. Cloth is a synonym of fabric. A very small type of fabric or cloth bag you can find is called a pouch. Repeat after me. Pouch. Most pouches will have a mechanism to close them called a drawstring. So you might hear someone call it a drawstring pouch. Let's move on to a much bigger type of bag, which is a sack. Repeat after me, sack. A sack is used to transport goods like food. A sack which is made from this material, which is on screen, is called a Hessian sack in British English and a burlap sack in American English. Our next type of bag can be useful in lots of different types of activities. The backpack. Repeat after me, backpack. When a backpack is used in school, it's called a school bag, all one word, school bag. There is an older type of school bag, which is more associated with fashion these days, the satchel. Repeat after me, satchel. All satchels will have the same kind of design and are generally made from leather or fabric. A backpack, which is used in outdoor activity, is called a knapsack. Knapsack. The K in this word is silent. Knapsack. A synonym of knapsack 
is rucksack. Repeat after me. Rucksack. If you go to the gym or participate in different sports, you may need a sports bag. This can also be referred to as a gym bag. And in some places, it may even be called a duffel bag. And while we're talking about sports and activities, we must mention the punch bag. Punch bag. Let's move our attention to the world of fashion with our next bag, the handbag. Handbag. This type of bag is associated with feminine fashion. A masculine version of this, commonly used by some men, is called a man bag. In the world of business, a briefcase is a very common container for your goods and documents. Briefcase. Our next type of bag is worn around your waist. In American English, it's called a fanny pack. In British English, it's referred to as a bum bag. Bum bag. A more general term for this type of bag is simply waist bag. For those who travel, a common bag you can use is a suitcase. Suitcase. Any type of bags that you bring with you on your travels is referred to as luggage. Luggage. Smaller suitcases and handbags that may be brought onto an airplane is called hand luggage. Hand luggage. In American English, hand luggage is referred to in the singular as a carry-on. And that brings us to the end of this English lesson on different types of bags. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the word list in the description below. If you're like me and have a passion for the English language, especially vocabulary, you've come to the right place. Make sure to head over to my channel, Learning English Pro, and check out my vast range of videos covering lots of different vocabulary topics. And if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know in the comments and I'll do my very best to make a video especially for you. Coming up on your screen are some video suggestions with you in mind, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So make sure to hit that to get all my videos. Don't forget to like, share and support this video. And that just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.